Hi, and welcome to Net Deb's Nook. I'm Debbie, and I'm here to show a few things. But I do have a Diamond Dots at Home unboxing to do. Um, my friend just got um, started in this, and I needed another diamond painting to do, so I thought I'd help her out. So, a Diamond Dots at Home, you get the... Um, nice box, everything's included, and add some sparkle to your world. So I ordered this set. I op opened it all ready to get it ready for this, but I haven't looked at it. Box was a little damaged, but I, nothing's hurt. Nothing's inside. So I'm gonna put that box down here. And Here's the package of drills. But you also, ooh, my, ooh. <laughs> All my excitement, this is, I've bought in Diamond Dots at Joann's, and this was not in there. This is exclusive to their Diamond Dots at home, but look at that paperweight. It's a blue diamond. Isn't that great? Oh, it's got the all the faceted they, that they do on the diamonds, and it came in this nice little organza bag. So that's really a nice touch. Um, the tool kit. Oh, nice pen. Let's see how that open. I just slide out. So it's gold with a, um, a diamond at the top. It's got a grippy right here. So your basic drill pen, but this grippy is nice. You don't have to have the squishy on there. And then you get, um, they do gray boats. You get a um, wax with container. Now when you use the wax, you have there's plastic coating on this disc, you peel peel that off to use it, otherwise you won't be able to poke it. And you get some baggies. Um, no multi-placer. So that's the tool kit. And the drills. Now these are diamond dots. You can buy diamond dots at Joann's now. Um, the jars of individual, uh, but look at these colors. Uh, you probably can't see. Purples and blues and teals. And there is white. Um, I wonder if I turn the light on here. Does that help? I don't think so. They have the Aurora Borealis. They've got extra coating on to make extra shimmer. So, only one AB. I guess so. Sometimes there's two in the, in the diamond dots. But those are beautiful colors. Never going to get this back in the right. I don't want to crinkle you, make you suffer through that. So I'll put those things down here. I'm sitting up a little different in my um, living room. I've got rid of my recliner and I got an office type or a doctor's office visit, to doctor's office chair at Restore that sits me upright. So and then I have a this table is an old computer desk. So I'm using that in the living room to do things. But here is the um, painting. It is uh, 33 by 11 and a half, I believe. And it's a partial. What it means by partial is... I don't know if you can see this. 
this part has no sticky. That's um, dyed on the um, canvas, the blue. And then the feathers is the sticky area. Isn't that pretty? I got my notice that I'm getting my business kit, so I'm excited. I will do an unboxing of that, but isn't that pretty? I'm going to make this for above um, our bed. It's a big, empty, plain wall, and I thought the colors are good for in there and just something to fill that space up. This is kind of that gunky on it. Extra glue or something stuck on the canvas. But isn't that pretty? I hope this, you can see it okay. I will show it again once I'm finished. But um, Diamond Dots has a um, pink edge with um, sewing so it shouldn't unravel. Here's the um, key code chart. They are not, they don't give DMC numbers, but it gives the uh, diamond dots number. And there are conversion charts that will let you know what color DMC matches the diamond dots symbol. Interesting, it runs that direction. But I guess. Is there one on this end? Yep, there's one at the other end too. So for working from both ends. So that's um, called Birds of a Feather. And it's available from Diamond Dots at Home. You do get instructions in several languages on how to, how to diamond paint. So it's really good for um, beginners to do this type. Um, they call it advanced intermediate and I just think it's, uh, <laughs> I would call this beginner when you have a partial. I don't know what they, I suppose the size, you have to do a little more for the size. Maybe that's why they call it advanced. So, let me get this out of the way. I've got a few other things to show you. But I, I'm pleased with the colors and, the, and oh, that jewel. That's going to come in handy. I did buy, because um, I have been doing some coloring, and the colored pencils aren't, uh, I like them, but they're okay. Not okay. I don't know. So I got these gel pens set. It's 200 gen gel pens, but it's not really. It's 100 gel pens, and you get 100 refills. So the refills package comes here. And this kind of nice Velcro shut, but it gives you a list of... I'm hoping you can't. I'm, I don't even know if you can see this. But these are acid-free and non-toxic um, gel, so they color really nice. There's 28 glitter pans, 16 neon, 15 pastel, 18 metallic, 14 fluorescent, 6 rainbow, and 3 standard, black, blue, and red. Um, so I don't know if you've ever used gel pens, but they um, flow really nice. But what's nice is the... Here's the... Uh, um, refills. So they're just like changing a, a ballpoint pen. So they're all um, labeled which pens they go into. So that's what I got to help my coloring. But I, um, I was at Dollar Tree and I always get my coloring books from Dollar Tree usually because they've got um, nice ones. But um, I thought about even diamond painting this. I colored this this morning when uh, we were watching a show. Kind of wild, huh? And I did this one last night. This is done with glitter, the glitter pens, and I don't know if that's even going to show up that it was 
There you can see it. See the glitter? So this is kind of nice uh, stained glass designs to color. And these, these are the books I was telling you about that I did the one design, um, the Mystery Mosaic, Square Mandalas. So you can't really see what this picture is until you start coloring. And you use the numbers, the colors for the numbers on the back, colored pencils. Um, the colored pencils don't cover the area very good. As you can see, you can still see the numbers through the light colors. So, what I did is tr saw a lady doing X coloring. So she put X's just like you were crossed. So it looks like cross stitching. Isn't that kind of cool? I don't know how well you can see that, but then you can, after you've colored it, you can diamond paint them. So, oh, one more thing for all my crocheting friends. I'm working on a blanket every which way. And uh, I'm using Hirschner's Worsted 8. I've got a couple balls of this color, so it'll go pretty far. But I like this pattern. It, I've done it I've s several times. And this one I'm doing solid color. I saw a beautiful one done somebody did with it. The variegation really showed the pattern. I don't know if you can see. It's uh, which way fillet. That's what it's called. So the pattern goes this way and it goes this way. And then it goes this way. <laughs> so which way fillet? Um, so I have been crocheting. I sit in crochet or color or diamond paint um, and my knitting. Of course, I've gotten this far in my second sock. There's the heel cuff. So I'm working the foot. So I don't have too much farther to go before I start doing the toe. So knitting, crocheting, diamond painting. I haven't been doing any spinning lately. Um, I will be using my Addies because I'm going to be a test knitter for um, Skakel with my Addy machine. So they're sending me um, the kit to do their project. They're writing a new book on with patterns for the Addy knitting machines. So. Um, I've test knitted um, for designers. I've test. I haven't done any test crochet, but I use, I've done a lot of knitting testing. So that's my news, and um, just about out of time. All right, have a great day and happy crafting. Well, and I know Summer says that, but she doesn't have a uh, patent on it. <laughs> so sorry, Summer. Have a great day.